Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what does your love interest secretly want to tell you? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, my darlings, so we're going to be looking at what do they secretly want to tell you. I'm going to get you some advice, and also stick with me till the end. I'm going to be asking a yes or no question for you guys. Um, so if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, when it comes to your friends, what does their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Aquarian's love interest secretly want to tell my Aquarius's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, we got the Nate of Wands energy. So definitely it's about a very passionate action with the Nate of Wands energy. Uh, definitely feel like this person wants to take some kind of action towards you in a passionate or creative way, but let's get more clarity. Oh my God. This person wants to tell you about some kind of shock and surprise or some kind of breakthrough. Okay. They've been thinking about it. Okay. Let's mirror this. What are they thinking about? They're thinking about this passionate action, this passionate situation, which is shocking and surprising to them. It's like it's it was it was something that happened all of a sudden that rocked their foundation. Hmm, interesting. Let's get more information here. Let me use another deck also as well, but let's let's go further. Okay, bottom of the deck. They're seeing this situation as a huge potential for them. Uh, there's a huge offer, a huge potential, but they're at a crossroads here because there's a contemplation going on within them or they're getting some advice. Okay, so let's use, let's use this deck. What does Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one that, what does Aquarius's love interest secretly want to tell Aquarius's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Okay, so obviously they would like to go on some kind of a vacation with you or they're really in this strong sense of enjoyment, which is also what I get from that Knight of Wands energy. So I get the sense that they see that there's huge potential in this connection. Uh, we see that this person's trying to be honest about this connection, that they feel that there's some type of true love. Okay, some changes happening for this person that they're thinking about. That's also what I saw with the Queen of Cups energy at the bottom of the deck, something to do with love and devotion. It's like this passionate situation that happened all of a sudden, this action that was taken, it really rocked their foundation and really got them thinking about it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's find out about exactly what this scenario is here and what's happening. What is Aquarius's love interest? The one they're here for? The one they want to know about? What is Aquarius's love interest secretly want to tell Aquarius's? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, so we can see this passionate action here and we see this friendship. They definitely see you as very attractive, okay? And there we go, they're thinking about love. Okay, let's keep going. Friendship, strong attraction, and love that they're thinking about. Okay, that's very interesting. What is Aquarius' love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is Aquarius' love interest secret they want to tell Aquarius's? Show me cards in the TC. Show me cards in the TC. So there is this passionate action in this friend which has left the situation at a crossroads. The shock and surprise about this strong attraction in this opportunity. 
They want to communicate what they've been thinking about, what they've been planning when it comes to love. They are about to make some kind of decision here, okay, about their happiness, this joyful energy, and their desires. We see that there is this relationship and also this past situation here going on. There's an infringing party here. We see someone who's trying to be very supportive and nurturing here, who caused some big change, some shock and surprise within this person, some kind of self-realization here in their desires. There is the shock and surprise. So obviously your person has, it's, we got multiple tower cards in this, this reading, okay? So there's a very shock and surprise in this person's like this huge breakthrough, this big change. And there's regrets here about the situation because of an offer of love or new love or true love with the Ace of Cups energy. There is some concerns and also that, uh, that, that older uh, feminine energy can represent the mother energy in, um, in uh, Gypsy. Okay, it could be a mother involved with this situation or it could be saying that somebody who's trying to be nurturing and supportive, but you see there's an infringing party or some kind of self-doubt. This person was, is rather shocked and surprised about the regrets of the past, about some kind of new love or an offer of love or potential of love. They may have heard something also, some kind of gossip here with uh, the gossiping card coming out and which caused some kind of argument or fight or dispute or frustration within this person because of something to do with the past. It looks like it could have taken place at some kind of party or celebration here. So it looks like very soon they're going to be making some kind of decision here because of memories of the past or something to do with the past. This card right here can represent a sister, a daughter, okay, or an infringing party, which has caused some kind of stress or anxiety around this situation. This person really wants to pay attention to the details. They really want to put the work or effort into the connection to have a sigh of relief here and to gain some kind of a knowledge here. So, okay, so let's bring it all together. I like to be clear cut. So it looks like there was some kind of travel here and a relationship, uh, a connection that happened and some gossip that happened around love and a past love, which uh, reached a family member. Mm -hmm. So a family member, may, they may have heard this from a family member. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. I want to get a little bit more information here. What does Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, they're talking about? What does Aquarius's love interest secretly want to tell Aquarius? What do Aquarius need to see? Show me the cards I need to see. So they want some kind of peace in the connection. And we see that there is a blessing happening here and a solid foundation around this connection. They've been thinking about this very deeply. They really want to be happy here with the potential, but they feel like there's a situation where they're stuck between two different worlds. So there's a, a crossroads, and they, there's this shock and surprise within this person that they had about this connection, this situation. And so now very soon they want to make a decision. They realize that there's an opportunity here, and they have regrets about the stress and anxiety, and they want to communicate some things to you about love, new love, potential love, and, and to give you some kind of knowledge or get knowledge about what's going on. Definitely looks like there's people involved with this situation as well because we do see multiple people cards coming out. And even at the bottom of the deck, I see family. Family conflict, mother energy, nurturing supportive energy, cautious and defensive, obsessing about being patient because of deceptions about these uncertainties that needs to be brought into balance. We see a friend, so there could also be a friend involved with this. And we see this infringing party, some issues here at this celebration and hanging out. We see there's a strong attraction here. We see a mother and possibly a daughter or a sister. And we see love and shock and surprise about this and wanting a sigh of relief. So the friend may have said that they're really attracted to you or has something to do with a friend and some kind of attraction here that caused an argument or fight. Okay, so there was a passion action that was taken and a decision was made about frustrations, arguments, or fights that caused a shocking surprise. 
there is happy aspects of this, all right, or joyful energy about memories of the past, really thinking and contemplating about the desires and wanting to put the work or effort into the connection. If we look at the numbers of this, action, all of a sudden, thinking and contemplating about a decision towards happiness, Chariot talks about a victory, Fives talks about a change, Six talks about healing, recovery, and love, and Eights talk about putting the work or effort into it. So obviously some big, huge event took place with this person, okay? It looked like it involved other people. And um, this person's like, well, I really want to think about this situation on how can I bring things into balance because I feel stuck between two different worlds because of the situation, because the family members involved with this. And it's like, I want peace here. So let's get more information. What does Aquarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to, what does Aquarius's love interest secretly want to tell Aquarius's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. They're letting you know that you guys are going to be together again. My life isn't together as it seems. I hid behind material things. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And I want to be more than just friends. I'm not available at this time, but I really do want you. And I remember every detail of that day. So there's that shock and surprise. And we see it's something around passion and energy there. I know that I crossed the line with you. You were the best thing in my life, and I'm grateful for the spiritual blessings. Now that, that makes sense with the, the blessings card coming out, showing that they feel that you're a blessing in their life that you've changed them. But it does seem like they're letting family kind of get in the way of this situation. And I, I get the sense that they really want to tell you that, that a lot of the reasons why the things happened the way they did was because they allowed the family members and a friend to kind of get involved with their situation. So let me get you some advice for you guys. Can I ask some advice for my Aquariuses when it comes to their love connection? The highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I get the sense that Spirit is saying, forgive this person, that you did learn a lesson here. Okay. Stay positive in your thinking. Be authentic of what you want. And trust in the universe here. I trust that everything will be okay in the end, partly because I simply know it is my, in my gut but also because it's a way of having more fun to live in trust and the confidence. And, and this card is so funny, but it's saying not to be defensive. We see the ups and downs, the gratitude. So, so be clear cut about this, okay, this advice. It's saying to be positive in your thinking that when this person, when the timing is right, this person's gonna show up, okay? And uh, there is going to be some ups and downs. So try to stay positive in your thinking because when you positively think you're growing something positive out of the situation, there's going to be a lot to be thankful for because you're going to say, okay, the universe is saying, oh, it's time. You have abundance here. Don't judge this situation, okay? No judgment. Be strong. And then the final card is say, stay centered. So obviously, in time with this person, there's going to be something that's going to be really great that's going to happen here. And you're going to have abundance here. Uh, and we see there's going to be a lot to be grateful for. But there is going to be some ups and downs in this connection that you need to be aware of and you need to stay strong with, okay, and stay positive about. I want to preface this also, guys, and say that I'm only here as guidance. So you have to follow your own intuition and do what you feel is best for you, okay? Because you have the free will here. So regardless of what this says here, I would say you are the one that f has the free will, so you can do what you feel is best for you in this situation. Okay, so when it comes to my Aquarius is for the positive card for yes, negative card for no, whatever the question they want to know, show my cards I need to see. Some of the cards I need to see. Okay, no. No, at this time, Moon card talks about some kind of confusion because the truth needs to come out. We see Ace of Pentacles. There is some potential here, but a leadership role needs to be taken or a power move needs to be made and something needs to be accomplished and completed here first because there's some juggling back and forth about a decision. 
We see Sankar talks about joyful energy, happiness, and an action that needs to be taken for something to grow. When I look at the Empress card, yes, it talks about attraction, it talks about beauty, but it talks about something that needs to grow in order for a decision to be made for a potential. So I would say no at this time with the Moon card energy. It's not saying no forever, but no at this time. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses, I love you guys so much. Um, I will see you guys in another date or two. If you feel like this reading resonates with you, if you want to claim this reading, if you want to share your personal situation, I do read my comments, guys, so I love hearing from you guys. So um, there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. Considering the situation, you can also check out their true intentions, their true feelings, you know. Um, and uh, also the monthlies and the mid-monthlies are up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.